Oh, it's nice to be back. Man, oh man. Nice to have a different gameplay other than Dying Light, you know. But uh, what is going on, guys? This is Music Major coming to you guys live with a WWE 2K15 gameplay. Very excited to bring this to you guys. Uh, given the circumstances, I've um, just returned from a WWE live event uh, this past week. As you can tell, my voice is still not 100%. I was screaming, marking out having a blast it, it was just a great time but I really want to talk to you guys about WWE live events and you know which one I think you should personally go to over the past year I've been fortunate enough to attend real really many WWE live events I've been to Smackdown I've been to TLC in Cleveland uh, and I went to Raw Frankly, I don't know why I waited till now in my 25th year of existence that I've decided that this was the time to attend WWE events. I think I just fell in with the right crowd. Uh, my old boss, uh, Alex, was a massive wrestling fan. We had a customer that used to come into the store, uh, my old store that I used to work at named Calvin. Huge wrestling fan, fell in line with those guys. And, it, you know, I think that's kind of what pushed me over the edge to become, you know, take it in live you know now for a brief history on my wrestling background I actually did wrestle back in the day I was a uh, wrestler in middle school and somewhat in high school uh, I grew up during the Attitude Era and frequently watched Raw and Smackdown in various episodes of Sunday Night Heat I don't know why I subjected myself to that that being said I've always been a very devout fan and I never went to a live event I guess my mother never really wanted to subject me to it I guess but my first WWE event in June took place at Nationwide Arena here in Columbus, uh, shortly before Money in the Bank. It was fun, but it's SmackDown. You know, the writing really wasn't on point at that time, and it it really wasn't a good show. It was okay. It was great. I had fun. I think I had more fun at Main Event, to be honest with you, because they record uh, WWE Main Event before SmackDowns. Um, at the time, I really wasn't sure what to expect, but I met some awesome people, talked to some great people. Uh, me and my boss had a great time, as did Calvin. Uh, then I decided to attend uh, TLC in December and uh, had a great time. That was a great pay-per-view, even though I just read on a uh, website that it was the lowest pay-per-view buys in like some time. But uh, what really took the cake for me was Raw this past week, uh, once again, back here in my hometown. And I screamed myself hoarse. <laughs> it was great. Uh, I think now that they're putting more emphasis on writing, storytelling, stuff like that. And it doesn't hurt necessarily that it was the build-up to the, you know, WrestleMania. So I think it was a great episode. I had a blast. Personally, my recommendation for you would be to go to a Raw. But make sure you're, you time it out at the right time before a big pay-per-view, such as Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, something like that. Now, I will be going to NXT next month, the first NXT show outside of the state of Florida. And I will for sure report on that for you guys and tell you guys how that is. Keep it locked to social media too, guys. I will have many pictures, many tweets, and uh, we'll definitely be talking about NXT. But anyway, guys, I kind of wanted to dive into this video here. Elephant in the room. We have a Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns gameplay going on in the background throughout all of that discussion. I feel like WrestleMania is not being booked properly. I have a small prediction, and this is gathering a lot of sources in. I think we're going to have a triple threat match here at WrestleMania 31. It's going to be Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns against Daniel Bryan. Everybody wins because if you think about it with the track record of what Daniel Bryan's been going through the past year or so, does it really make sense that he's going to beat somebody who suplexed the immortal John Cena? You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. That he will beat him so badly that he can win the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't think it does. But you appease everybody. You appease the Reigns fans. You appease the Daniel Bryan fans. Everybody wins. I know myself, no stake in the match necessarily. But I'd like to watch Brock Lesnar perform with two decent wrestlers. One that is very technically superior to the other. But I look forward to WrestleMania 31. I'll probably elaborate on this in another video here, guys. I kind of ran a little bit long, unfortunately. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to spank that like button. Comment. Follow me on social media. My name is Music Major. We'll see you next time, guys.